Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to the Service Design Show. This episode is fully dedicated to the Doers Conference that will be taking place on April 25th, 2019 in Budapest. I've invited one of the conference organizers, Thomas Langley, to tell us a little bit more about what we can expect at this year's conference, um, what the experience is, what the venue is, and which speakers will be um, presenting so that you can decide if this is a conference that you might be interested to attend. Last year, uh, the conference was organized for the first time and it was a huge success. And I'm really excited uh, to be part of this year's conference. So if you stick around till the end of this episode, we'll also tell you how you can make a chance to win a free ticket to the conference. So make sure you stick around till the end of this episode. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the talk without Thomas, who will tell us more about the Doers Conference. Welcome to the show, Thomas. Hey, hi, Mark. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to be here on the uh, Service Design Show. And uh, um, we can talk about the Doers Conference. And yeah, thank that's... you for be, being a speaker. Uh, on the yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's maybe a surprise for some of the viewers. Uh, I'll be I'll be joining you in uh, uh, in the conference uh, and on stage, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, before we talk, uh, we we're not going to talk about my talk, but we're going to talk about the Doers <laughs> Conference because it's the second year you'll be hosting uh, this conference, and I'm really excited. It looked really uh, fun last year. I wasn't able to attend, but I saw some uh, of the viewers actually uh, joining the conference. So I was like, I need to know more about this conference. So Thomas, let's start with the basic question, um, the Doers Conference. Is there a theme this year for the Doers Conference? Yes, absolutely. We have a theme this year, which is uh, change the mindset. So last year we had a general introduction on service design. And then this year we are focusing on, on change the mindset and um, change the mindset. We try to uh, go around two topics. One will be about how to build a service design driven organization. And another one will be uh, the business value of, of, of design. Hmm. And then basically what we're going to do is that the participants were able to see this from three different directions or three different angles. We will have, um, speakers from design agencies like uh, Liebergs, Mordemetrics, Design Aid, Snook. Then we will have speakers from the public sector like the UK government uh, uh, design team. And we will have private sector, uh, sector speakers like Vodafone, IKEA, Accor, and uh, a few more uh, to be announced. So mm. um, basically we picked this change the mindset as an umbrella team for the, for the conference because we believe that under this, we have this two very important topic is how to make design a cross functional talent in your company, how to make design the language that uh, the common language. Uh, so how to set up from the organizational perspective, people and infrastructure perspective, but also to make it sustainable and the consistent topic in the company. We need to see the value of design, how that makes more profit how it makes higher customer satisfaction. And then I think if you get these two aspects and then both of them is working, then you can talk about you are on the long run, you are changing the mindset uh, mm. uh, in mm. the organization. So so mm. that's why we picked change the mindset um, cool. as a team for this year conference. Super interesting topic, like because I think this is something that a lot of service designers run into really quickly after doing their first one or two projects, then they start to realize that they need the rest of the organization to be aligned and to change and to have a different mindset to actually make service design sustainable. Otherwise, they are just loose projects. I, I, so really cool. And, and a topic that's dear to my heart, as, as you know, that I, I think we need to be much better at selling and communicating the value of service design. So yeah. Absolutely. I think that's also a crucial, uh, it's it's a basic principle there. Uh, if you can make it, uh, you can prove that it's increasing the profit, it's making higher satisfaction, then that will be a consistent uh, uh, foundation of service design. In, mm. in, uh, in the maybe, maybe, that will, maybe that will the to uh, be the topic that I'll also touch upon in my, in yeah. my who knows, who knows, <laughs> who knows. Um, yeah. 
<clears throat> so the Doers Conference, the name already uh, gives us a clue, but what can the participants expect in terms of experience? Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, first of all, I think Doers is a very easygoing uh, uh, and a chilled atmosphere conference. So, uh, this is this is mostly because of the speakers. So, um, last year I had also this fantastic experience that the C speakers are so approachable and they are involving so much into the conference, you know, promoting mm -hmm. the conference, uh, creating their speeches and, and how they how they interact with the audience on the conference. It was really fantastic. So like for, just for a, a quick example, like with a technical problem, switching from one laptop to the other. So there was a little bit of a break. And then Mark Stigdom was jumping up. He was going on the stage and grabbing the microphone and then he was doing their uh, uh, improvi <laughs> improvisation uh, on, a, on a small service design session on yes, but yes, and session and then involving the whole audience. You know, we didn't ask Mark for that. He was just kind of like so motivated, you know, to, to, to keep the things going and filling that gap. Uh, or we had Vasilis Vasiliadis from Vivid Vibes and he was making the whole audience dancing as a mm. cultural change uh, topic. So um, I, I really liked. So first of all, when we talk about the atmosphere, that's chilled, easygoing. And I, I really expect that this year we will have the same. I see from the speakers feedback that they are getting also emotionally involved into the conference. They like 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 the team to, to, to bring the doers together to talk about real war stories, you know, uh, not about fairy tales. So that that's that's i think one part mm -hmm. of the conference uh, and also maybe a venue is adding a little bit to the experience it's a concert hall it's a music hall it's not a very ordinary even even space so usually crude and both my studies making concert there you know and not service designers are uh, uh talking about change the mindset so uh, i think that's also adding a little bit to the to the to the experience and um and also uh, this year we will have um, a little bit um, a refresh setup. We will have a main stage, and on the main stage we will have the different talks uh, that you can hear on, on, the, on change the mindset. And then we will have a doers room, which is a new thing we are trying out this year. I hope it will work. So if the name is doers, then it's good if you could do some things. So there will be a special room, and uh, in this special room we will have, for example, Max Stigdom and uh, his team. So you can book Mark and the team for an hour in a group of people, not alone. Uh -huh. And you can ask questions about um, customer journey mapping. You can do a little bit of an, some exercise with them, but it's just like an opportunity to ask real pros about how to do the best way the customer journey mapping. We will have Mauro from Design It. He will show you uh, uh, basics about sketching so you can learn it. I think when you are a designer and then you are running customer journey sessions or any kind of sessions, it, it's quite good if you know how to draw from a few lines something that that um, that well uh, uh, um, symbolize the, mm. The, mm. the thing that you are talking about. So Mauro will give a, a few lessons on sketching and most probably we'll have some facilitation and on prototyping, so we are still managing that part, but uh, uh, for sure this will be a very exciting uh, uh, space. So it will be a smaller concert hall space. Um, we will have three or four stations. And then when you buy the ticket, then before the conference, we will send you a registration link. So you need to pick a slot when, when you will attend uh, um, the sessions in the dual room because um, there's like a limited amount of people they can handle. But I think it will be, for us, it will be an experimental uh, thing to 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 try okay. this. Also, so, so so it's not yeah. So it's not only people on stage, but it's also it's like meet and greet and uh, talk yeah. with some of the yeah. service yeah, designers. I mean, hmm. Yeah, and then we want to make it you know uh, as convenient, as easy, mm. and as smooth as possible uh, because that's a service design conference. So mm. we are heavily working on that. Yeah, so I think uh, that's that's basically the thing here that it's uh, you can actually do things and 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 again I think what's important that the speakers uh, are are you know super approachable. So you can go there and then you can talk with other pros that you might not have the chance to 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 have a one to one interactions or. Uh, yeah, or, or or meet with him, but this is the chance on the doers to 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 get some insights, tips, and learnings from them. Hmm. And uh, cool. on the stage, I you always like the, the yeah, I always sorry, like the off yeah, I always like the off stage conversations. Like that was one of the reasons why I started the show in the first place. Because during conferences, mostly the most interesting conversations are not <laughs> when people are on stage, but they happen during lunch, during dinner. 
mm-hmm. during coffee break. So uh, really cool that you're offering that opportunity. I'm really interested. Who is who do you hope will attend the conference? What 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 can we expect in terms of the audience? Who will be there? Who do you mm-hmm. hope that will be there? So uh, we always try to bring both sides. So the the business side and also the design uh, uh, side. Uh, so last year we had sixty uh, percent which was designer and forty percent which was uh, was uh, was business. So it's nearly half half. Uh, on the story. So um, anybody who is working in marketing, service design topics, customer experience, uh, but also in finance, uh, basically. Uh, so we're expecting from the business side people to join, and uh, and from 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 agency side or from design side, hmm. basically um, senior service designers, designers, UX designers. Um, who, anybody who is working on 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 the service design field. So. We don't have a very specific targeting that we are just for uh, designers or we're just for business, but kind of like um, a, a balanced approach. And I think the topic is also why you can hear, hear about the organizational part, about the business value part. Yeah. So Makes I would sense. say it's, Makes it's for all. Is it, is it um, be, because it, uh, is it just for people who are focused on Eastern Europe or do you hope to attract people from across the world? Is there so, a... last time we had from 28 countries, hmm. that was like, I was totally surprised. I must tell you, I, I didn't expect it that one. Yeah. So, um, so, so I was really, really surprised. Uh, we had people from the U.S., from Russia, uh, uh, from Spain. So, so hmm. not, not just from Europe, but also outside of, uh, uh, of, of, of Europe. So, um, no, it's not just for Central uh, cool. Eastern Europe, um, but it was kind of like the... When we started the whole doers, that was like a, a thinking to to make such a conference and bring the best speakers uh, also to Central Eastern Europe, as mostly maybe the conferences are focusing on, on Western Europe. Let's do something uh, which is a little bit more located uh, in, in, in Central Eastern Europe. Budapest is an excellent location, easy to access from, from, from many different directions. And uh, I think it's a very important uh, even nowadays for for the Central Eastern European service design uh, uh, community. So um, mm-hmm. that's the feedback we are getting. Um, I know that many service designers are bringing their clients, and then you know that's a that's a possibility to them to come over, showcase, uh, um, and show them a few good examples. So mm-hmm. kind of like a like a tour, you know, to to the service design world. So yeah, that's. What, what what is the thing? Um, because uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to the conference, and I'm really excited to meet all those people and to uh, interact with everyone. But what is the thing that you're looking forward to the most? What, what gets you excited when you think about the conference? Okay, for me, uh, uh, how the doers room will work that's that's a very exciting um, um, challenge. Yeah, so. It's uh, we need a lot of discussion on that still in the background. Uh, uh, I'm I'm curious about the feedback on on the on the doers room. Uh, uh, that's that's one thing. I'm also curious about about uh, uh, the setup of the audience this year. So will we have from 40 countries or from 28 countries? So that that's I'm really looking uh, forward to. And um, I think we have also um, a really excellent speaker set up this year, and um, it's it's completely refreshed compared mm. to the to the to the to the to the last year, uh, which was our intention also to always have new people showing it from a new point of view. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to each and every uh, uh, talk because it will be not a not a not a repeated uh, uh, yeah. uh, point of view, but it will be kind of like really. Um, we have a lot of new 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 speakers. So. That is one of the most challenging things I remember from my time as being an event organizer to actually enjoy the event and to actually enjoy the the talks because you're you're sort of constantly working during the conference. So <laughs> yeah. Um, now the big question is where do people sign up? How can we sign up? Are there still still tickets left now that we're publishing this video uh help us out can we still join the conference yeah. so it's 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 doersconf.com 
Mm-hmm. So uh, is the is the I'll address. put the link in the show notes for yeah that would be cool and uh, and and we are still in early birds so just go and run and grab your uh, uh, ticket it's the right time if you want to save uh, uh, some money yeah so I must tell the, you that this is February 2019 because if you're watching this in 2020 <laughs> February yeah. 2019 you can still get the early bird okay <laughs> yeah yeah so so um. It's part of our concept that we are running with very low uh, ticket prices. So once you go over to the Doers Comp uh, uh, website, you will see that I, we feel it's very important to democratize knowledge and make it accessible for, for everybody. If you are a freelance designer and you're not part of a larger organization, then you can still come to the Doers Conference. So mm. go, go over to the Doers Conference website. We have super low priced early bird tickets right now and just grab one uh, uh, and come and join us uh, on this fantastic event. Cool. Um, so people can still get the tickets, but as we like to do here on the Service Design Show, we also like to share with the community. And you were so generous to actually offer two free, free, as in free, without, without the flight, but two free tickets to the conference, the flight and the hotel, you need to arrange that yourself, but you can get into the conference for free. What do people have to do in order to make a chance to get one of these tickets? Yeah, so uh, it's very easy. Just comment below the below the video and, uh, and, and uh, the comment should be, uh, uh, just name one of our speakers for, uh, for this year. So just write in the name of one of the speakers, maybe one of the speakers that you are most excited about, and then just leave the leave the comment below, and then we will do a raffle two weeks yeah. times from yeah, from now. In two weeks, and then yeah. and then um, yeah, and then um, you will have the chance to join for free uh, uh, the Doers Conference. Yeah, and we all already gave a hint who uh, who is coming to the uh, <laughs> to this year, <laughs> but I I, I like the uh, addition that you made. Which speaker are you most excited to see? And Maybe also let us know why. That would be great. Um, and we'll do a raffle in two weeks' time. Thomas, thanks so much for uh, sharing with us what the conference will be about. Uh, I'm sure I will be sharing some of the things after the conference, during the conference. I'm really looking forward to meeting you there and uh, also uh, maybe some of the people who are watching uh, watching this video. So good luck with the rest of the preparations. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mark. It's great to be here, and uh, uh, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to have you on the conference. I think the whole doers uh, uh, team. So it's actually three of us doing this, uh, 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 and uh, also Joel and Tomash, which is funny, also uh, is uh, uh, running the conference uh, with us. So we are really looking forward to having you there and run this uh, show together. Yeah? Thank cool. you. See you soon, man. See you. So I'm really interested. Are you going to the conference this year? And if you want to make a chance to win that free ticket, make sure you drop a comment down below and leave the name of the speaker you're most excited to see. If you know somebody who might also be interested in the conference, grab the link of this video and share that with them. And if this is your first time here on this channel, don't forget to subscribe because we bring new videos that help you to level up your service design skills at least once a week. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.